guys, this is where the journey through the Alabaster Cavern starts. We're gonna go ahead in there. We're gonna get tickets to head down into the cave today. So it's $20 for two to go down into the caverns. It's a bit of a walk throughout the caverns. I think it, they said something like 300, 300 steps or so. And it's definitely not one that you want to go on if you have any stability issues. It's apparently gonna be really wobbly and difficult pathway. The tour is guided and does require a fair bit of walking. So they do actually make you read a warning and tell you, you know, once you get there, you're gonna to have to walk. Most of the walking is in the cave. So if you're worried about things like sunscreen or heat or anything like that, really don't have to worry about that. They drive you right to the entrance of the cave. You walk down some steps, which is quite steep. Um, and then once you're in the cave, it's quite cool. It's quite wet, quite slippery, have really good shoes. Um, and then there's a fair bit of walking and it's slow walking. It's not really hard walking. Like you're not doing a bunch of climbing up uh, steep s stairs, except for when you get out of the cave, there's a couple of stairs. Here's the warning that they give you. The cabin tour involves a strenuous walk of approximately three quarter mile duration, which you will climb and go down a total of 330 stair steps. It really didn't feel like that much. Uh, due to the natural features and conditions of the cave, the cave is always cool and damp and the tour path is at places narrow, wet and even or at e a steep incline. It takes about 45 minutes to complete and due to the features of the cave described above, this walking tour is not rec recommended for those with mobility or respiratory problems, heart conditions or claustrophobia. I could definitely see how all of those are absolutely true, so do follow those directions. Uh, if those, any, any of those things apply to you. They did change the trail. It used to be one full length of the cave and you came out the other side, but due to some parts of the uh, cave breaking down, they've actually only do half the tour and then you come back. So you do still get just as much walking distance, but you only see half of the actual full cave anymore. Large tours, you'll get taken down to the caves in this guy. We got to ride in the van today and there was only two other people with us. So it was the four of us and the tour guide. It's not really too cold for them, it's just too cold for them to move too fast. So that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah I've seen quite a few through the years. Really? Yeah. Definitely not one that's great for somebody with mobility issues. Like I had to hang on to the hand railing quite a few times. If it was slippery, the ground is really uneven. Sometimes you think you're stepping up and it's actually down. So definitely one that if you are really unstable, I'm not sure I'd recommend it. But if you've got decent stability, it should be fine for you. Now, if you have a little bit of anxiety in being in a small space, I certainly did before going in. It wasn't too bad going throughout it. I did think about it a little bit, but I was able to just march on and get through it. The tour isn't that long, so you can kind of just tell yourself, you're not that far, you're not that far. <laughs> For my husband had no problems whatsoever. He was like, it was no big deal. He loved it. He wished it was actually longer. The tour, they do give you a lot of great information about the caves, the formation, and how they actually came to fruition, uh, the who owned the properties originally, and all that fun stuff. So definitely get a lot more information when you are inside the tour. We did see bats on the tour. Um, they flew above our heads. They were quite cute. Um, but we didn't actually get to see any bats nesting in the cave. So I had a lot of fun crossing this one off my bucket list today. This was something I've always wanted to do. I want to say I've been through a cave. I've done it. I survived it and it was lots of fun. So if you have a chance, you're in the Oklahoma area. It's near Freedom, Oklahoma. 
about 20 minutes away, maybe not even, maybe 10 minutes away. Um, Alba Alabaster Cavern State Park. You can camp here. You can see, check out our other video on what it's like to camp here. We have the full details of having an RV here, including what are the best spots. So that's, that's it, you guys. Hope you have fun traveling.